A man and his wife have decided that the rug they have ordered from a carpet store is too small. They decide to call the carpet installer and tell him to double the area so that they can cover more of the floor. The carpet installer and his team start to argue over whether they should double the length or double the width. Why do they have this problem? The area of a rectangle is found by multiplying the length times the width. Therefore, the area of this rectangle is 6 centimeters by 3 centimeters. The total area is equal to 18 centimeters squared. How would the area of the rectangle change if I were to double the width? How would the area of the rectangle change if I were to double the length? How would the area of the rectangle change if I were to double both the length and the width? One couple is in the process of packing their belongings because they are moving into a new, another house. The wife tells the husband that the boxes he bought are too small. She tells him to get boxes that are three times bigger than the ones that he, she currently has. Do you think that she stated the question correctly? The volume of a cube is found by multiplying the length times the width times the height. Therefore, the volume of this cube is one unit by one unit by one unit, one cubic unit. How would the volume of this cube change if I were to double the length? How would the volume of the cube change if I were to double the length and the width? Now you can probably guess what would happen to the volume of this cube if I double the length, the width, and the height. Let's see what happens. happen to the volume of this cube if I triple the length, the width, and the height? How many times bigger than the original cube is this cube? What generalizations can I make about the effects of dimensional change according to the examples given? One formula that can be written to describe dimensional change is the following. 